Screen protectors are one of those things where you really don't know what you're going to get. Unless you've used it, you have no idea. And there's so many brands out there. There's Zag, Best Skins Ever, Bodyguards, Clarity. There's tons of brands, and it's really hard to choose. Now, I used to use Zag, and then I realized I was wasting my money. $20 for a screen protector was ridiculous. I didn't like the Zag for a few reasons. One, it was very expensive. Two, it blocked out light. Um, as soon as I took the screen protector off, I was like, whoa, I didn't even change the brightness level, and I could already see things better. And, you know, it had that grippy feel, feel which is, is, you know, preferable for some people, but I didn't like it. It, you know, it kind of inhibited some screen navigation, and dragging with swipe was, you know, a little more difficult. And it also became deformed after a while. If ever, you know, when I put it in my pocket, it would get little wrinkles because of the heat. Um, if I was, you know, sweating or running around, it was bad. But now that I have these new, um, cheap screen protectors from the OEM shop on Amazon, I have fallen in love with ridiculously cheap screen protectors. Um, one, they're so smooth, um, and they let all the light through. Fingers glide right across the screen. Um, I did put this one on badly, <laughs> as you can see at the bottom there. There's a little bit of gap, uh, but that was user error. Um, on the Zag, they actually just came up on the corners. I'm really hating on Zag right now, but I really do think they're way overpriced. Um, I think they're the most expensive brand, to be honest. Um, and, you know, I mean, they're good, but this is better and cheaper. First off, it hasn't scratched, and I've been using this for several weeks now. Um, no scratches whatsoever. When it gets dirty, it wipes off nice and clean, no fingerprints at all, so you can show off your screen to your friends. Um, and, I've obviously said they're cheap, but they're less, I paid a dollar... 33 with free shipping, um, I think, for three of them. So, if you put one on wrong, like myself, you, well, you could put another one on and it only cost you, what, 30 cents? Instead of $20, like on the Zag. Um, these don't need any applicators to put on, um, like some other shields. You just stick them on and they stick on a static cling and a little bit of sticky stuff. I think it's mostly static, though. And, uh, you know, they're really nice. Uh, doesn't, you know, doesn't collect the lint in your pocket. And I really think that cheap screen protectors are the way to go. Um, the OEM shop on Amazon, if you guys haven't, don't know about them. If you want to go get screen protectors for your new devices, I definitely recommend them. Um, Bodyguards, I've heard, has good reviews. And, you know, anything, you know, don't, don't spend too much money on a screen protector is what I'm trying to get at here. Cheap screen protectors are the way to go. And, uh... Do, do a little bit of research before you buy one, because if you buy a cheap screen protector, like I used to have ones for my old Windows mobile phone and my Palm. Um, wow, that's old. That's like five years ago. <laughs> um, I used to have, buy screen protectors for them, and they were really cheap. Like, well, they were expensive, but they would they were really cheap in quality because they would scratch like crazy. But uh, I guess what the point I'm getting at is, you know, don't spend too much money. Um, probably said that twice already. But, you know, do some research on a screen protector. Get a cheap one. Um, if it doesn't work, you didn't lose much money, right? A dollar. Come on now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Right? A dollar. Come on now.